Since the resignation of Najatu Mohammed, a former chieftain and director of civil society organizations of the ruling All Progressives Congress Presidential Campaign Council, on the basis of deciding to support individuals truly interested in addressing the root causes of Nigeria's challenges, the APC has continued to condemn the media comments made by the former APC PCC director. Last week, Governor of Kaduna State, Nasir El Rufai, dismissed her sessions and condemned the People's Democratic Party's campaign activities and even that of the Labour Party. Same condemnation was made by Festus Kayamo, SAN, the chief spokesperson of the Presidential Campaign Council of the APC. Joining us now from our Abuja studio for a right of reply to the many allegations of the ruling APC is Hajia Najatu Mohammed, former chieftain and director of civil society organizations, APC Presidential Campaign Council. Good morning, Hajia Najatu. Welcome to the morning show. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning, IGR. It's good to see you again. The last time you were on this program was January 26. Yes. And there were reactions yeah. to some of the things you said on that uh, program on that day. One, uh, Governor Nasir Rufai has responded to you. The APC Presidential Campaign Council has responded to you. Festus Keyamo has responded to you. I don't want to go into the details of their response. I'm sure you know what they said about you. But also, we have also received a reaction from the Nigerian Air Broadcasting uh, Commission, NBC, uh, which uh, sanctioned Arise News and also has uh, issued a penalty of two million naira. And in at least two paragraphs in that uh, protest by the NBC, your name was specifically mentioned. And the statement is that the anchors refused to caution you when you were calling people names, Senai, illiterate, you know, people cannot uh, recite the uh, Saratu, uh, you know, or cannot lead prayers in the Muslim uh, manner. So, Madam, today, you know, just for you to be aware that there have been these reactions and, you know, uh, for you to be cautious how you throw those adjectives against people. It's good to have you. But quickly, what's your response to the allegations you. that you don't, what, whatever you said on the 26th, you didn't know what you were talking about, That's why, and that you are not a medical doctor anyway. How can you assess the uh, health status of uh, Ashwa Dibola Metinogo? Well, I still stand by what I said, because uh, every day, every single day, even look at the clip of Aswaju when he was in Ocean quite recently, in which, in which he could not even remember how he got there or why he was there. So that is, that is the problem. When people say that these are clips, well, what we are saying even right now is a clip. If what we are saying right now is just nothing, is just uh, a fabrication, then every other thing is a fabrication. But let me talk about uh, Fistus Kiamo. Uh, it's really unfortunate that a lawyer at this stage if he remembers very well, and one of the things that I said about uh, Aswaju is uh, about corruption and perjury. It was Christos Kiamo in 1999 that sued the Lagos State Assembly for clearing uh, Aswaju of uh, perjury and uh, a certificate forgery. He went as far as the, uh, the Supreme Court which he, he, even though he lost, but what I'm trying to say here is this. Was he lying? Was there a certificate forgery? Was there perjury? Did he, did, 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 um, uh, did, did Asuaju uh, uh, swore on oath based on lies? Or was Fistus Kiamo lying against Asuaju? This is something that he needs to answer. So we are talking of integrity now. We are talking the, about People changing according to their personal interests. Sister Skiamo then was more concerned about the, uh, the, integ the integrity of, uh, of Aswaju. But today it serves his purpose, his personal purpose. So he's, he's put, he wants Nigerians to forget all the things he said about Aswaju then. He, in fact, as, as far as going to court, I mean, there's, there's, there's more to that. So, and then when he was, uh, uh, I don't know when they started appreciating uh, Nigerians. Fistos Kiamo was minister, and I think still minister for, for state, uh, for labor, 
when Asu was on strike for eight months, what did he tell the people? He said, go, go and uh, parents should go and beg Asu. It's, they so insult Nigerians. They, they, when they talk, they don't think of what they have said earlier. They don't think of Nigerians. All they are thinking is their personal interest. So we cannot be uh, talking about the same thing over and over again. The clips for Asuwaju are there for everyone to see. Every campaign he goes to, he goes. In fact, people are whispering into his ears to tell him what to say. And as for Nasuru, when they went to, to Chatham House in, 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 in London, is it not true that uh, he, they were some of the people that were made to answer questions for Eswaju? So what else do Nigerians need to know that something is seriously wrong with Eswaju? There's, there's nothing that we need. Everything is explicit. The, the truth has been written on the horizon. So it's, it's left to Nigerians. All right. Um, well, as you would expect, the, there have been responses from the camp of the APC. They still maintain the stance that um, right from the very beginning you were a mole and you were working on behalf of the PDP, hence the reason why as soon as you uh, tendered your resignation as uh, being one of the directors on the APC-PCC, you then aligned with what they felt was your original candidate, um, which is the presidential candidate of the PDP. I'd like you to respond to that. And also, I mean, we've been asking uh, uh, questions. OK. Yeah, yes, of course. Uh, let me just finish. I have yeah, a second question. I can respond to that. The, the, OK. All okay, right. Okay. So the second question, you know, when you respond to that, just in terms of responses as well, um, also around this issue, around a deliberate sabotage of the APC's presidential candidates by some Aso Villa cabals. Now, because you've been close to um, the center of power, you would understand the dynamics of power and what, at least what happens in those circles. I'd like you to speak to this um, allegations, even though um, they said the president is supporting um, Ashwajibola Ahmed Tinubu, but he himself has said that they are working against his campaign. What's your take on this? First and foremost, when they said I was expelled from the campaign council, they never showed the, a letter from the national chairman of their party expelling me. I, gave, I made a press release, and in my press release, when I, after, after writing my letter of resignation, I told Nigerians that I did it because of my conscience. I am still on that. You know, they should have brought out the letter of expulsion, even if backdated, backdated. they did not. They could not, they, you know, when you lie about something, you, you, you get confused. There is no perfect lie. So I still remain on what I said. If they knew I was a mole, if they knew I was incompetent, why were they begging me? Falake cannot lie and say that he did not beg me to, 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 to take that appointment. He begged me. I didn't want the appointment. And then they, it, I didn't send, take myself to, to Aswaju in London. Aswaju called me. I still, have, I still have the text they sent me. I still have it in which as they asked me to please talk to Aswaju that Aswaju wants to talk to me. Because he called me severally after I refused the appointment from, uh, from Falake. And Falake said I should please, in the name of God, meet him halfway. Let them put my name there, because the names are coming out the next day. So that I can, if, if having sat with Aswaju, I am not uh, satisfied with what he says, then I can opt out. The very next day, Asuwaju kept calling me. I didn't even know his number. It was at around 11 p.m. I didn't know the number. I refused to pick the number. Then they sent me a text saying that uh, Asuwaju wants to talk to me. I still have the text in which I replied, tell him I'm waiting. Immediately after, less than a minute after, I got his call. He said, hi, Gia. I said, yes, sir. He said, I respect your stance on not accepting my, my, my appointment. I said, sir, you know me. I was in ACN. Why didn't you call me to ask me whether I was interested or not? Why are you sending somebody? And at this point in time, I told him, I cannot be a zombie. I cannot follow anybody just off head. He said, in the name of God, can you see me so that we can discuss it? But meanwhile, 
know that I'm in London. Can you come to London? I said, yes, sir, I can. Then he said, can I buy, buy you a ticket? I said, no, sir, I can afford my ticket. I got my ticket the next day and got on a Lufthansa flight. So what did I go begging as well? The names were out before I saw Aswaju. The names of my, myself as a co-director, because they were not sure whether I, was, I would accept it or not after seeing Aswaju. So they put, it's the only uh, committee that had two directors, myself and another, another lady who, who, whom I really don't know. So I went to London, I saw Aswaju, we sat for two hours. In fact, pa, pa Osiban, uh, um, uh, um, uh, BC Akonde met us halfway through the meeting. And I asked him, sir, what is it you have for us up north? He told me point blank. He didn't lie to me. He said nothing. I said, you mean you don't understand what is happening in the north? You don't understand our challenges on security, out of school children, the almajri and, and, and all this? He said, well, if you have something for me, then you can write it out. That was what happened. I never go, I have never lobbied for anything. I think people, anything that I've ever gotten, I got it because I go, I'm a businesswoman. But politically, no, let them go and look at my antecedents. Let them go, check my records. How many times was I made a minister? How many times was I made a senior special advisor? They go into public office to steal. And that is their psyche. It's all about personal, personal. Everything is about personal interest. Right. Okay. So for your Let's next question, question your, your next question is, Sorry, your next question is on the cabal. Yes. Well, well, what constitutes a cabal? We have to even un try to understand what a cabal is. A cabal is a secret political group or faction that are like Marx, but that they manipulate and control the system. They manipulate and control everything that runs in the government. That is what a cabal is. And let me tell you who one of the cabals is, is Aisha Buhari. Aisha Buhari that is talking today is part of the cabal. Yes, we knew uh, the cabal of uh, Abba Kiaris of, of late, the mom and Dauras, that she couldn't even come out to say. When she started talking about the cabal, she glossed on it. She didn't have the guts to come out and name names. I named names. For the first time in Nigeria, I started to name names. Well, that's but that's interesting. The, the, the point is that. Hadja. Uh, no, 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 no. Let, one let second. Me, let it's, me it's still in line no, with what please, you're saying. Me. It's still in line with what you're saying. With yeah. this, because um, this is you mm. saying this, I just wanted to clarify that this is you, you saying that um, the First Lady is a member, of, is one of the cabal. But recall that when. Uh, Governor yes, Naira Wofai, hold to, on. I want to when say Governor why El I Rufai, yes, When Governor El Rufai okay. mentioned this, she actually reposted the video as if in, in support of his claim that there were people who were sabotaging. Is that not contradictory? No, no, no. She said, she, she reinforced what El Rufai said. She agreed with what El Rufai said. El Rufai said that the cabal in the villa and she confirmed it. But what I'm saying is this. She is also part of the cabal. I am trained to, not to say they did this. We are trained to name names. You have to have the guts to tell Nigerians who this real, the, the cabals are. And I'll tell you why. One, if you look at what we are discussing, the, the hardest thing for Nigerians now is the question of changing this, this money. People are in a very, very dire situation. Even I had to know how to mobilize to send my mother ingredients, tomato and pepper. It's, it's, it's terrible. I am stressed up. So think of the millions that have to work daily to feed. But what is happening? They are talking about the, the cabal, and they are talking about themselves. They are saying, what Erufati is saying is that uh, why is changing money is OK, but why now for elections? So is it about elections or is it about Nigerians that are suffering? And whose election? Their elections. This is the point I'm trying to make. So when they are talking of the, of, of the cabal, the, her brother, her, Aisha Buhari's brother, same mother, same father, is the DG now or MD of meeting and printed. So what are they, what are they talking about? When you talk of MFLA, Central Bank, the next thing you talk of is minting and printing. Her brother, same mother, same father, is, 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 is the head of minting and printing today in Nigeria. So how cabalish can you be? And for, for, for them to accuse the cabal only for themselves, 
that at this point in time, at this point in time, wh when did Erufai or any of APC governors stop to talk about ASU strike? The killings, the kidnappings of people, they've never discussed that. It has never, as we are talking now, hundreds of children from Kebbi for over one year, for over one year, kidnapped uh, girls from, uh, 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 from a Kebbi uh, secondary school are still with the bandits for over one year. But nobody ever said about it. And, and it's 84 people were killed only yesterday in Katsuna, 84. But they didn't bother to, every single day. Nigerians are being killed. Look at what is happening in the Southeast. And they don't care. They don't care. It doesn't matter who kills you or when you are killed. What, happen, what matters is that you are dead, you have been killed. It doesn't make any difference to the victims. So it doesn't make any difference to Nigerians when or how they are squeezed and strangled for lack of the currency that they will buy their day-to-day -day needs. So they should, they should stop lying. They are the, they are the real culprits. And we should also not forget uh, Erufa'is memo. If you remember Erufa'is memo after the, uh, uh, the, 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 the death of, uh, of, Nas, uh, of, of um, uh, the former chief of staff, uh, Abba Kari, the memo was leaked in which he, he, he Erufai, was, was, um, was insinuating or was saying that there are people that he wants to, he actually wanted to be, uh, to replace Abakari. He did everything he could to replace Abakari because he said otherwise, some people are already boasting that they will choose the next uh, petroleum minister, they will do this, they will do that, they will hijack everything. So he wanted to be part of the cabal. So, I mean, what are we talking about? Okay, Nagatu, Nagatu, real quickly. <clears throat> We'd like to first interrogate you because what the rebuttal a lot of the APC people are saying is that all these years you were together with them, you collected deals. Which part of it was what you confirmed the last time you were here about the Police Service Commission? So they're also saying, that are I you truly I, I, sure? I, that are you truly sure that you didn't benefit further? That that was the only thing because you claimed you were not paid anything for that. You was just a service to country and all of that. That can you the, truly beat your at, chest? At, at the police service commission. Yes. That can you truly beat your chest? No, 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 sir. No, hang on a minute. Let me yes, finish. Let yes, me finish. Sir. Let me put. Yes, let me put all of them together, okay. ma. Please. Okay. So that are you truly beat your chest? Okay, that that was okay. the only thing you collected. That you didn't collect any more. Because they too are now kicking back at you that from, you, you are not the only what? one that has the right to speak. Secondly, from what you are saying today, yeah, I know. it looks as though that cabals have factions in this country. What factions are the cabal? Are everybody now? Because now that you have, you've, you've, you've opened the can of gunpowder to this government of cabalocracy, so there are cabals here and there factions here and there. You mentioned one. Which faction is that? Which other people are in other cabals that have multiple functions that the APC presidential candidate, I mean, the, that um, Governor Nasir El Rufai even said that some elements in the villa are working. Let's, let's talk about these cabals in the villa. But they are also saying that you too should account. Were there other things you benefited? Was it only the police service commission? Like you should come out straight and not just say all of this because you've left the party now. It's sour grapes times for you. That's what they're saying. Okay, okay. Uh, there's a difference between the police service commission and the party APC. We have to make it very clear. I am a part-time commissioner in the police service commission. I am not a full time commissioner and as part there are only three full-time commissioners the chairman commissioner one and commissioner two but myself and the other commissioners representing uh, civil society representing the media representing i am representing women and uh, and the uh, and the business community from 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 the east the four of us are not on salary we have never been paid a salary. We are paid sitting allowances. So the, the books are there. So let everyone go and check. You see, these people don't see service. If I'd wanted to make money, I would have long been a minister. If I'd wanted to make money, because their psyche is that of service is not 
to the public, but service to self. So they can't see anything beyond that. And then about your second question on, on uh, the factions of the cabal. Yes, there's a cabal that was led by uh, the late Abakiari, may his soul rest in peace. And the reason why Aisha Buhari first started to uh, attack the cabal, it was because she wasn't part of the cabal then. But she succeeded in throwing up, uh, Mama Dora's things outside the villa. She physically throw them out. If you and if you remember the case of the shootings in the in 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 in, in, in the villa, the gunshots in the villa. Who 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 made that? Aisha Buhari's cabal is made up of her children and her brothers. She has determined. She determined uh, the uh, the 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 appointment of the former Nisal uh, uh, DG. She determined who is uh, now her brother, same mother, same father, at the meeting and preaching. She, has, she sometimes determined, uh, in, in fact, uh, instruct service chiefs. So who is she? Is she not a cabal? And then there is, of course, the other cabal. Adia. Yes. Nigerians did not vote for... You know, sir, and, and let, me, let me talk about Erufai, for God's sake. About Erufai, let us look at the beginning of Erufai. But before talking about the beginning of El Rifai and how he came about where he is today, I want to please refer people to, uh, uh, to Abbas and Joe's book, My Watch, uh, volume 2, page 110 and 112, in which, and I quote, he said, My vivid recollection of El Rifai, my vivid recollection of him is he has a patient for lying, for unfair embellishment of stories, and his inability to sustain loyalty. He is a pathological pervious purvey uh, uh, of untruth and half-truths with little or no regard for integrity. That is why Obasanjo Joe described Erufai in his book. And I will, let me go ahead to, 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 give you, to cite examples of this. One. Who brought Erufai to BPE? It was Atiku. It was on Atiku's recommendation that he was brought into the PBE. It was on Atiku's recommendation when Obas and Joe wanted to restore the, the FCT uh, um, uh, original, original uh, plan. He, he wanted somebody that he felt was strong enough to withstand the heat. So he, took, he, he asked um, uh, uh, Atiku for advice. And Atiku recommended Erufai. In fact, by the time Erufai went to the Senate for clearance, the Senate refused to, to clear him. It took the intervention of this same Atiku for him to be cleared. So what is he, uh, but what did he do? The first thing he did was to be, betray Atiku. He, he, he started fighting Atiku. Not just that, even in, in Obasanjo's book, Obasanjo has referred to him as I have heard of how, and I'm quoting Obasanjo's book now, I have heard of how he ruthlessly savaged the reputation of his uncle, a man who was like, in the African setting, his foster father, I shredded when I heard the story of what he did to his half-brother in the Air Force, who is, a, who is senior to him in age. This is what Obasanjo has said about Erufai. So Erufai is a patho pathological liar. I mean, he is so shameless. He says things that suits him when it suits him. I don't think that is right that Nigerians should continue to listen to people like that. When it suited him, before, before 2015, he had, he had said all sorts of derogatory things about Mohammed Buhari. Uh, but by 2015, when he wanted to be governor, he came and knelt down before Buhari because he's, no, he's nothing bef in Kaduna with, without Buhari. In fact, he is so un unpopular. His unpopularity in Abuja was transferred to Kaduna because of the demolitions. If one of his benefactors, an uncle of his, who had served his, his people, very, his, his parents very well, Justice, uh, Justice Sambu, Justice Bashir Sambu. He helped the family very much. He's from Zaria like them. 
He helped Erufai his family, but he, his house was one of the first that Erufai demolished. So you see, and then even in Kaduna, even in Kaduna today, as, as he did in, in, in Abuja, what the impunity, you will be in bed with your husband and your children. You'll just hear a bulldozer bringing down your house. I mean, these are the type of people that are now saying that they care about the common man. Which common man? They have no business with them. You see, the people with Buhari, or uh, the people in the APC, quite honestly, are suffering from delusion of grandeur. Okay. Because Adia. when you asked them, Adia. when, when like, like, like this afternoon, uh, or this morning, I saw Adia what, uh, what uh, Fistos care. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. I mean, I, despite, I the, you. despite the note of caution at the beginning of this program, I see that you know you are still like. Uh, I'm really on, sorry, sir. Uh, anyway, no. You know, okay, a, okay, a, I'm a sorry. Good, a good friend of mm -hmm. yours says, "Oh, that woman, she's radical by birth, by marriage, and by inclination." <laughs> I'm sure you know one of your friends yeah. who, who describes you in that matter, manner. But that whatever you do, you do for yes, God sir. and for country. That's our bet. Let's go straight and to for the point. country. Yes. Yeah. Yes, you, sir. You refer to Aisha yes. Buhari, and I was going to tell you that. Um, you know, the wife of the president, Nigerians didn't vote for her. She's mm -hmm. not involved in policy making. Mm -hmm. Her husband also told the international community openly that her place is in the other room. And yet you are crediting so much to her in terms of uh, the, the, appointments. The, the, same Buhari, the same Buhari took her to the red chamber in which uh, her off, the office of the first lady, which he clearly at the initially rejected, Opened it. The same Buhari. Anyway, on the question of he the APC. It, and he made it official. Well, on the question yes. of the APC, first of Kiyamo and the president, they've told us that the APC mm -hmm. presidential candidate, the same person that you say cannot lift a, a, you know, a cup or a broom, is the best man for Nigeria. Mm -hmm. And Kiyamo says they are sure because they, they have 24 governors and there will be no obstacles that will stop them from winning the election. And you say they are being delusional. Yes, that makes them 24. Yes, they have 23. Yeah, he said they have 23 vote uh, governors and a president, which, makes, which, which gives them 24 votes out of millions of votes. However, let us look at it much more seriously and in depth. Why should he say that? Because they will be the instruments of coercion are in the hands of the president. And the governors are supposed to be those that are responsible for the security or the, 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 the heads of security in their, in, their, in, their, in, their, in their states. So to say that, forgetting that before 2015, the 19 governor, we had only one governor in the APC in the 19, in the 19 states of, of, of northern Nigeria. But the votes and the yearning and the, and the steadfastness of the common people change that situation. So I'm telling them, they are, what they want to do is to use the excesses of the instruments of coercion, meaning the military and the police, to, to turn things around forcefully in favor of their candidate. That is the only reason why they said that. Secondly, if you remember, Hadi Sirika in Katsina, in a gathering, was swearing by God that they have amassed so much money. They have amassed so much money that they will use that money for elections. So they, it's just self-explanatory. Their Fistus Kiamo is not saying that Nigerians are behind them. He is saying that we have a president who controls the finances of this country because MFLA is answerable to the president, to the minister of finance, and they are all answerable to the, to the president. So if they have the monies of Nigeria and they have the force of Nigerians, they don't need Nigerians. Nigerians are being told that you are not wanted. We only need 24 people, and the 20, these 24 people are equivalent to, your, to the millions of votes that Nigerians are supposed to. You see, these people, you, if you begin to see how deluded they are, see how they refer 
see how um, uh, um, um, uh, Shatima referred to the vice president. He, he says, if he's nice, he's to sell ice cream. A professor who is much more educated than he is, he can never catch his legs in terms of, 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 of education and forthrightness. And here, what Fister Skiamo is now saying, here, what Erufai is saying, all they are saying about this change of money is because it's for them. Everything is about them. Uh, why are you changing money? It's good to change money, but why now? But what I'm saying is that the whole thing boils down to a government that is weak. If this government indeed knows that there are people that have touched so much millions or billions cash in their in 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 in, 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 in bullion vans and in their houses why is the government not going for them well, thank it you. begins to confirm it begins to confirm what 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 the uh, the, the kiamos and the aerofas is are saying because change of money is for them uh, uh, election they all have the, they have governors and they have the president these people have all a single vote each how are they able to, to change things when we know that the, most of the governors were, uh, were there because the common man stood and fought and defended their votes? But why are they now saying that since they are there, that the, the, the common people don't, do not happen? See what they have to say about Obi. Well, they referred to Obi as a, a, as a, a jester, a, 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 as, a, as a Nollywood actor. You see, this people are deluded. They okay. are so power drunk. They just can't believe it's over. They don't believe in elections. Aji and Aja too, on that note, we'd like to thank you very much for joining yes, us sir. on The Morning Show. Thank you. Thank you very thank much. Thank you so much, sir.